Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and today I'm going to record a short walkthrough uh, for building your circle community with Podia, or with really any uh, online teaching platform where you're selling content, courses, coaching, whatever it is that you're trying to uh, augment with a community uh, platform like Circle. Uh, or even Mighty Networks, it really doesn't matter. These are agnostic relative to the uh, you know individual tools you're using. So I'm using Podia and Circle. You could be using uh, something like Gumroad and Mighty Networks or Tribe and Kajabi. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to give you a simple framework for doing this in a way that really rapidly allows you to uh, expand your brand and really cultivate a community in a bootstrapped way that works, right? It just simply works. So here's our uh, Podia landing page for the enlightened entrepreneur. And we also have a, a, a program called In Love With The World, which is really for mindfulness oriented people uh, who are interested in sort of expanding their own gifts in that you know capacity. And what I've done is created a, I'm going to give you the, the, the workflow now. What I've done is created a free ebook that's really a compilation of content that um, uh, I've written in other places and put it all together into an ebook and put it on Podia as a free download. So it's a free ebook that we're giving away to build our list. And I'm going to show you. I don't want to show you the name, so I have to figure out a skill. This is just a screenshot from earlier today. This is reasonably new in the last couple of days uh, that we put this ebook together. And let me see if I can do this in a smart way. So I'm not showing you the people's names, which is not polite, obviously. But this is, you know, this is, uh, I'm recording this on the 10th of December. Um, and I want to get rid of that so you don't really see those names. Let's see if I can. But you can see just in the last couple of days, right, it's getting a lot of signups, right? So the ebook itself, and there's probably about 10 or 20 people a day now signing up for the ebook. Just in the last, and these are all new people. I'm going to give you the, act, the steps that we implemented to actually facilitate this. Um, you know, so you're looking at 10. Uh, you know, 15, 20 people a day, and this is completely free. It's free traffic. I'm sorry about that. I don't want anyone's name to be seen here, which I'm not really doing a good job of, so I'll just stop that. Um, so here are the steps. I'm going to drag this out if I can. Let's see. All right, so this is. I'm going to make a couple statements here. One of the things that I find uh, on just being a member of the community on Circle, right? So Circle is the software that we're using to power our, our private community, which even as I record this is still totally private. So um, you have to really request to be a member at this point. In January, I hope that's different. Um, but one of the things that I've noticed being a customer of Circle and being part of their community is a lot of people waste a lot of bandwidth, a lot of attentional, intellectual uh, resources on trying to figure out all of these like sort of integrations, automations, and ways of making the entire process of signing up for their community friction free, right? So they don't want any, so it's all these like, you know, Zapier inter integrations and all these workflows and sort of, you know, how this tool matches with that. So they, you know, everyone's spending a lot of time trying to figure out how to do this in with no manual intervention. And I really believe that that's a mistake, right? It's a mistake because it, it, forces us to rather think as marketers and think of relationship builders. We're constantly trying to, you know, create these perfectly choreographed experiences for our community, right? And I just think that's a bad idea because I can see how many people are waiting for the perfect tool, waiting for the perfect integration, and they're actually not building anything because I can visit their communities and see that nothing is actually happening because, again, they're waiting for the perfect way of automating everything. So here's what we've done instead, right? There's no 
really perfect automation here, but this sequence has worked wonderfully well this week with a with this particular uh, sequence of steps. All right, so step one, create a free product on Podia. Um, again, as I mentioned at the outset, this works for any other digital storefront as well. If you're using Gumroad, which we are too, if you're using Kajabi, which we're not, but Teachable, Thinkific, whatever, WooCommerce, it doesn't really matter. Um, step, so you want to give this product away, obviously. So step two is we're using Pinterest to send free traffic to the new product. Now there's a whole kind of simple sequence of steps here that I'm not gonna cover in this particular video, but Pinterest is really a phenomenal way of generating free traffic to a um, anything, really, um, but a product-centric page. It is, you know, it is it's so easy and it's free, right? I mean, nobody has an excuse if you can't afford to advertise, you can't afford affiliates or to, to reach out to affiliates or employees to, to, do, to do email outreach. Everyone can go to Canva and create 10 or 20 or 30 images in an hour or two and then just post those images to a product page and then post that product, that page with the revolving images to Pinterest, right? And all you're going to do is you're going to get a lot of, of pins that maybe not, that maybe don't get a lot of traction or clicks or attention, but you'll get three or four that do and you'll end up getting hundreds if not thousands of visitors to your free product or even to your paid product and a percentage of those folks, maybe not even a high percentage, but some percentage of that number will buy or sign up, which is exactly what where these folks here are all coming from, right? This is this is all from this sequence that I'm describing here. Um, step three, this is the email automation piece that you can do with something like Circle and Podia, even without the full-blown automation, you know, Zap or, you know, any other automation tool you may be using, that this works wonderfully well. So you're creating an email automation campaign that invites your new members to join your circle community on day one, two, and three, right, with some time urgency element, e.g., you know, it's free until XYZ date for new members. In our case, we would just give the free ebook out, obviously, and that first email would also say, if you want to discuss these mindfulness-based strategies with a larger group, here's a link to our private community, or you can actually have them apply, which is what we're doing now. The community is in beta, but it will be available on XYZ date, and you're going to get access to test it for free. You know, just add some sort of urgency uh, slash, you know, kind of incentivized way of encouraging people to sign up now rather than later. And this works wonderfully well. So if you have 10 or 20 people uh, signing up per day for your free product, and you're sending this email automation sequence, which day one, day two, and day three is inviting them and then reminding them about this private community. Of course, you can also add additional resources, you know, other content, um, you know, whatever it is that you have to offer. We're not doing that at this point, but certainly that would even make this better. You can essentially persuade a certain amount of people. It's not even really persuading them, but they like your content and they identify with your niche or your need or the or the you know the uh, the overarching uh, ethos and idea that that you know is powering your platform or that is animating your community. Then a certain percent are really going to be really excited. They don't need to be persuaded about joining a private community to expand their own expertise or skill set in whatever it is that you teach, right? Um, so that's really the three-step process, and you can play with this, tweak it, optimize it, you know, improve it, and really build something very quickly that does not uh, require much money up front to facilitate other than signing up for something like circle or signing up for uh, podia and again gumroad you don't is free you know you can even do this on buy me a coffee actually we have someone who's doing this in our client community uh, who set up something like this on buy me a coffee which is yet another one of these digital storefront platforms for makers and creatives and authors and artists uh, people who are building communities obviously as well that is completely free and it's really a beautiful platform 
Uh, here is the, you know, the, the power move. And I don't expect many people are going to want to do this, um, you know, who are watching this anyway. But if you're really a professional uh, or a brand builder who's really trying to make it, you know, has a little bit of a budget and wants to make a really significant impact quickly, the easiest way of scaling this is to is set up a Facebook tracking pixel on something like Podia or Gumroad or whatever your platform of choice is on this ebook that you're giving away. And now anyone who buys the book gets counted as a conversion, right? So they are now a conversion uh, in your Facebook ad account. And then you just simply create a lookalike audience that is conversion centric. So people who are converting, in other words, who are signing up for this ebook, uh, you know, who are, who are, it's free, but there's still a thank you page and, a, and, and what, what approximates or resembles a, you know, a payment flow. So you're just creating a conversion based lookalike audience where you're telling Facebook to identify the millions of other people who look like, you know, demographically, psychographically, the people who are purchasing your free ebook or, or downloading your free ebook, which is really counted as a purchase. And this gives you the ability to then target those folks. In our case, people who are interested in mindfulness and, you know, in, in this particular ebook's case, as you can see, spiritually sensitive people, people who consider themselves, you know, uh, more empathic than, than most or, um, you know, into the healing sort of alternative wellness uh, worlds. Those are the kinds of people that we're targeting for this particular uh, book. Now, that's not even my own natural inclination. That's not really my own a wheelhouse audience, but it's something that we're playing with because there's such a large contingent of those folks in the world that seem to be really receptive to the things that I'm writing about uh, relative to mindfulness and kindfulness and compassion-based mindfulness practices, et cetera, et cetera, which is where my personal uh, interest lies. All right, so you know this is it, right? And then you're just going to rinse, repeat, and scale this strategy as you are most comfortable and simply all that means is spending you know creating more canva ads or more canva images creating more ebooks more offers more opportunities for your audience to interact with your content your community your coaching your courses whatever it is that you're doing okay and it's really simple really super